let me know what your, uh, I want a picture of your face when you let go of the button for the first time. You're like... Do you remember that sound you asked about? Yeah. I bet that's what what it was. It broke. That that kind of grounding sound. Uh -huh. I bet that's what it was.
What's up, guys? Cameron here with Fuel Tech USA. I have Kyle Watson here with a. I've seen this car before. So this was Eddie Harrison's. Uh, I think it's like a '98 or 2000 model Camaro. Yeah. Um, badass billet engine in it. Some twin turbos. Made a couple passes on the dyno today, right? The first mm -hmm. pass we made some of the horsepower, and then after that we made most of the horsepower, and then the last one we made all of the horsepower, right? Yeah, that's I mean that's how it started. <laughs> So break a little, we had to break a few parts first and then, and then learn, our, learn what we we're needing to learn and then you guys found it all. Yeah, so that's one of the best parts about bringing a car here, right? Like you get to shake the car down, make sure that it all works, nothing dangerous happens, it's bolted to the dyno, strapped to the floor, it's really easy to keep the car off the wall in here versus at the racetrack. So that's a, a good way for you to shake down the car. Um, is this your first time stepping into radial racing or have you been doing radial racing for a while or big tire stuff or what, what did you do before? Yeah, I mean, we just, I mean, we've done some drag racing and stuff, nothing to this level. Like I said, you wanted, we wanted to step up to where the big boys were and this is the car, like you said, it's been around for a long time, it's been proven. So, I mean, this is the car we went with and like I said, we're just trying to sit here and see, you know, how fast we can go and see if we can even come close to hanging with some of these guys. But definitely my first time stepping up to the big leagues. Well, let me know what your, uh, I want a picture of your face when you let go of the button for the first time and you're like, yeah, we made, we made suction the, face like that where your face is all pulled back. We made a couple of pulls before we switched it over to this, this combination when it still had the intercooler in there. So we, I've, I've gotten a taste of it a little bit, but we'll see how it goes with this, this so, setup. Now. So you drove this when it was on gas, right? Yeah. Yeah. When it was on Q16, yeah, we, we, we had it there and then, the intercooler uh, broke on us and we just said, hey, we're gonna switch it on over. Yeah, switching over to alcohol makes everything so much easier. You don't have ice, you don't have to have like ice machine that makes 10,000 pounds of ice exactly. a day. You don't have to have 57 coolers or any of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I had a really great time on the diner today. We learned a lot of stuff, got your car all straightened out for you. Mm -hmm. It was cool hanging out with everybody. And uh, mm -hmm. they don't want me to say horsepower number, so I can just tell you it makes all of it. And then before that it made some of it. And before that it made a little bit. But we're going to leave it at all of it. So the first time you let go of the button, it's like a spaceship. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This one's going to be some great quality. Oh. What, motherfucker? <laughs> no, you should have seen this one. Oh, it smells so bad.